short video about um, how to find the volume of a cube or a cuboid. Here's a cuboid on the screen. A cube and a cuboid um, are three-dimensional shapes. They have three dimensions, and the volume is the measure of how much space a three-dimensional um, shape occupies. It's not a measurement of the area of the faces of the shape. That's something different. The volume is how much space um, this shape fills. You have a volume. It's how much space you fill. Um, not how much air you weigh, but how much space you fill. Um, and there's a formula for finding the volume of a cube or a cuboid, and, and this short video will um, tell you what that, that formula is and show you why it works. First of all, what is a cuboid? It's a 3D shape with six faces, right? And those faces are either square or rectangular in shape. Um, here is a rectangular face at the end of this cuboid. Um, if I want to define the area of that rectangle, how would you do it? Jamie? Find the area of the um, square in front of it. Okay, how would you find the area of that, of uh, that rectangle? Bingo, you'd multiply the length by the breadth, wouldn't you? Yeah. Fantastic. Now, to find the volume of this three dimensional shape, we're going to find the area of the shaded rectangle and multiply that by the depth of the shape, and that will tell us how much space the um, shape fills. So, that third dimension that we have that make, takes it from two to three dimensions, um, we call depth, or I call it depth. Uh, you might hear from time to time other names for it, but we'll call it depth for the purposes of this example. And so, in order to find the volume of this um, cuboid, we're going to multiply the length by the breadth by the depth. So, let's just do an example quickly. Um, instead of length L times B times D, let's say it measures 5 centimetres by 4 centimetres by 3.5 centimetres. I know it doesn't really. But let's pretend it does. All right, so in this case, we're going to multiply 5 by 4 by 3.5, and our measurement is going to be in centimetres cubed. Well done, guy. Very good, because it's, it's a three-dimensional measurement, not a, not a two-dimensional one. Area is in units squared, volumes in centimetres cubed, or units cubed. 5 times 4 is 20. So we're going to do 20 by 3.5. Should we do 20 times 3 and 20 times 0.5? Yes. Yeah. What's 20 times 3? And 0.5 is a half, isn't it? Yes. What's half of 20? Uh, 10. 60 and 10 is? All right, so there's our answer. The volume of that cuboid is 70 centimetres cubed. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes very good sense. Yeah. Perfect. Now let's stop there. Except, to give one more example, here's a cuboid again. It's a different way. It's a different way of doing uh, using the same formula. We know that volume is length times breadth times depth. If I tell you that the volume of this particular cuboid is <laughs> uh, la, 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 27 centimeters cubed, I'm it's a bad example. I'm going to say 28 centimeters cubed. Um, so the volume is 28 centimeters cubed, and if I tell you that this face, uh, this side here is 7 centimetres, and this face here, this side here, sorry, is 2 centimetres, and I ask you to find x, and you could use that formula, but just the other way around. This time we're not finding the volume, we're finding the length of one of the dimensions of the cube. So, oh, cuboid. So, instead of v here, let's use this formula, and instead substitute in the values we've been given. Instead of the volume here, we can write 28, because we've been given that as the volume. Instead of the length, let's write oh, 2 centimetres. Um, instead of the breadth, let's write x. And instead of the depth, let's write 7. And we're creating for ourselves an equation, which when we solve it will tell us what the missing dimension is. What is 2 times 7? 14. 14 is right. So on the right hand side, we've got 14 times x, which is 14x. Agreed? Yeah. Fantastic. If you know what 14x is, how do you find what x is? Minus, minus 2. Divide by 14, well done. <laughs> Top work by year 8. Um, 14 lots of x divided by 14 leaves me with 1 lot of x, and 28 divided by 14 on the left is 2, which means our missing side must be 2 centimetres. And let's check that. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 times x is 2. 2 is 28. Bingo. Hobbs your uncle. That's the other way in which you can use the formula for finding the volume of the cuboid. You can use it to find the side, the length of a, um, the unknown length of one of the sides. There we go.